All right, we've done it all. We've gotten money out. We've did the, the petition. We talk about the gerrymandering in Texas, Florida. The whole thing is so screwed. You want to. <laughs> But all those things require legislation. You got to pass a law. We got to fill the movement. We got to get the thing with the legislation. We can't do it. They got to get us the back of the thing. There is one thing, however, that we can all do right now, this year, 2012, no law changes, no nothing, to massively enhance our connection with those who represent us. It's a group of folks that represent people who advocate participating in primary elections. Isn't that weird? Nobody does that. I haven't been a primary in years. It's crazy. But apparently, if we participate in the primaries, it will be a massive benefit to us. In fact, only 8 to 12 percent of those who are voting age right now, which means 9 out of 10 of us are like me, we never, ever, ever vote in a primary. And our next guests are taking on this as what they see as the number one immediately fixable dysfunction in America's democracy. Mark Meckler, formerly with the Tea Party Patriots, now working with Leo Lindbeck in the campaign for primary accountability. Their goal, as they say it, to reconnect voters with the people that they vote for. So you're saying I've got to vote in the primaries, Leo? Yeah, I'm sorry, Dylan. If you want your voice to be heard, you got to vote in the primary. Why? That's where the decision is made. What do you mean? 85% of congressional districts in the U.S. House are either Republican or Democratic districts. Meaning from the gerrymandering or there's natural occurrence of natural, San Francisco or whatever it it's is. It's just the way it is. And you know, you could try to change that, but you're not going to change in 2012. Right. So in those 85% of the districts, the decision is not made in November. The decision is made in the primary election. And so if you want your voice to be heard, if you want to be represented. But the candidates stink, you know, I mean, it's one of those things, Mark, come on, you're going to make me go to the primary, it's a bunch of yeehaws, and well, the, the party decides anyway. Well, think about it, Sophie, 85% of the districts are fixed, that means only 15% of us even have a vote that matters in the general election. If you want to play in the game, the game's decided in the primaries. And in the primaries, nobody's playing right now. What's going on in the country in 2010, a major change year, right? 300 I think it was the biggest wave election. Uh, Okay. I mean, there was, this was it, baby. So 396 stood in the primaries for re-election, right? Out of 300... 396 incumbents. Incumbents stood for re-election. Out of that, only four lost their primaries. Only four. And, and it's worse than that. In the previous four cycles, a total number of 12 lost, so three per year. Over that same time period, 13 died in office. So, so basically what you're saying is incumbents always keep their jobs. The right. system is stacked And, and the exception is when they right. do not. Correct. And the reason incumbents always, and once incumbents always keep their jobs, then their ability to oblige to special interests and ignore the voter explodes because my job's no longer at risk. So now whether it's money or anything, it could be any manipulative influence, I'm more able to react to that if I know there's no way this and they're not going to get rid of me anyway. I can't do anything about it. Right. And so now explain to me again why my voting or anybody else voting in a primary in some way diminishes that. Well, the more people to vote, think about it, your vote has like a five times value compared to the general election because so few people are voting. So if you get a, a small group of people to come out, I mean, you could literally, with 10,000 votes, influence a primary election and get a candidate that actually represents you. And that's what this is about. It's not Republican, it's not Democrat, it's not liberal or conservative. This is about getting people who actually represent the people in their district. That's what we care about. And right now, the most partisan people are showing up and voting in the primaries, right? If you think of the American American po political world is sort of being this distribution. It's the tails of the distribution that are showing up to vote in the primaries. So in the general, if you have a choice, they're polarized choices. If you want to get rid of that, show up, and if everyone voted in the primary, then the outcomes would look m much less polarized. A at the same time, you could understand why there are people like me, and I represent 90% of America, which view the primary as a... Uh, as something that is either not for me 
for whatever the reason is. I'm not informed enough. I'm not part of one of those parties. I, in other words, what? Yeah. They, they, how do you get people well, like me out of our chairs into the primary well, because voting booth? Look, you should be outraged. This is exactly how the politicians want you to feel. They don't like the primaries. What incumbent wants to have to come before his constituents and defend his record? They mostly have abysmal records. They don't want you to know about their record. They don't want a challenger who actually comes out, puts ads on about their record. That's what Campaign for Primary Accountability does. Get out there, level the playing field, put ads out that say this is what the incumbent's record really is. Look, if people want to reelect them and they know the record, then more power to them. That person should be representing that district. Why, when Leo, when you look at any system of making decisions, whether it's a corporate board, whether it's a political environment, whether it's a community environment, whatever the governance might be, why does the quality of the decisions that any group make makes get worse in, in a culture like the one we have? In other words, why is why is this so central to repairing the culture? Well, look, the 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 supreme act of political power is the definition of the alternatives. That's that's what decides if the American people and any large group of people, if given two good alternatives will make a good decision, right? What's happening is that the parties have set up a system and the incumbents are, are actively participating in it to limit their options, limit their choices. 62% of House members, House incumbents in 2010 ran unopposed in the primary. So was, two out of three have no yes. test at a preliminary level. That's right. And so, then they're guaranteed the job after that. Right. Because I don't want to vote in the primary. It's my fault. Right. So Along with other 90% of the and people. And remember that leadership in Congress is about long-term incumbency. Right. The longer you've been there, the more leadership all the, all you the have. power. So, so these are the worst people that are, their ideas are never tested. They never have to run against an opponent. And these are the ones who end up right. being the leaders in Congress. Very quickly, what is the campaign? What are you doing this year? What are you guys doing? Right. So we're taking on entrenched incumbents, long-term incumbents in safe districts, not working to transfer power between an irresponsible Republican Party and re irresponsible Democratic Party. Safe districts, long-term incumbents with credible challengers that are unpopular in their district. So we poll in the district and then we design through our super PAC I know it's a nasty word, but <laughs> it's we a have a citizen super PAC. It's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, yes. It's a on. vehicle. It's a we go in and we basically level the playing field and we run advertising and radio and t TV and yeah. That's and if people want to learn more about it, where do I send them? Campaigns for, that's the numeral four, the primary accountability. Campaigns for primary With an S, campaign no, for, campaign for, campaign for the numeral four, primary, primary, primary account accountability. We'll put it up org. on all this stuff. Right. Uh, dot org? Is dot, it, dot org. All right. Listen, uh, how do I find out how to vote in a primary? Ballotpedia. If you go to ballot, ballotpedia.org ballot ballot and put your state in, wow. you'll find it. I didn't it's even no know problem. about that. Ballot. Great resource. The internet, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. crazy. I wonder who invented it's that. It's the network. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, it's crazy. Um, congratulations. They have my wholehearted support, and I will vote in the primary. Great. Thanks, Dylan. All right.